In this video, we're going to learn how to make elements float. Well, before we start, floating is a property that HTML elements can acquire. And usually elements, they float horizontally. They don't float vertically, so they can only float to the left or to the right. And they, they only float according to the containing element. So if we take one of these divs, they're going to float relatively to the containing element, which is the body element and if you take a paragraph inside a div and you apply some floating to that paragraph then it's going to be floating relatively to the uh, containing div of that paragraph okay so let's create a new file click and call it floating as html and we're going to copy the uh, content from our div and span file Okay, let's change the title to floating all right so if we start with the Facebook div and we apply some floating the syntax is float and let's make it float to the left okay so what does this mean so this means that Facebook now is going to be floating to the left relatively to the body element and that's what we've seen here. So it's going to float as far as uh, it's going to move as far as possible to the left of the body element. And the interesting thing that we notice here is that the next div, which is supposed to be a block element, now is sitting next to the Facebook div. So that's uh, what happens when we apply floating to a certain element. So the way it works is the browser will read our structure here. So Facebook comes first and it needs to float to the left. So the next available space is going to be from here. And then when we come to the Apple div, then the Apple div is going to be uh, sitting right after the Facebook div from there. And it's going to take as much width as possible as far as it is not floating itself. Okay, so if we, uh, if we apply some floating now to the Apple div as well, and we make it float to the left, for instance, then we see the same thing happening. So now Apple took as much space as it needs for its content, and then the next uh, div now is sitting next to the Apple div, trace after. So if we change that floating to floating right, so now the Apple div is floating to the right. And another interesting thing here is that now Microsoft is sitting between Facebook and Apple. Why we are seeing this? So the reason is Facebook is the first element. So it's floating to the left. Apple is the next element, which is floating to the right. And Microsoft that comes after that, the first available space for Microsoft is going to be from there and Microsoft is not a floating element it's going to take as much space as it has got which goes from the end of the Facebook div to the start of the Apple div all right so if we want to avoid that there is a very interesting property it's called clear okay so if we clear both so what does that mean so that means that the Microsoft div is not allowing any floating elements uh, on its right or on its left. So we're not allowing any floating. So Apple and Facebook are both flo floating elements. So since we're not allowing any floating elements around the, micro the Microsoft div, then Microsoft is not going to sit there. It's not going to sit after Facebook because we're not allowing any floating elements to the left of Microsoft. And it's not going to sit just before Apple because we're not allowing any floating elements on the right of Microsoft. 